I never had in mind like I need to make a certain amount of money or I need to create this successful business. I just felt like I want to do more of what I love. Oh, this you crazy mother. I had so much fun sharing with you all last week about how I earn an online income and how I experience the freedom of my life and travel and living my dreams in that way. And it sounded like a lot of you were interested in hearing more about my transition from my typical 9 to 5 job into this more free form business of my own. So I'm excited to talk about that today. As I mentioned in my last video, and you've probably heard me talk about it in other videos, I have created this program which I call Simplify, and basically it's designed to help you along your journey of self-discovery, and it really hits on all realms of life and all realms of your transformation. And it encompasses all the things that I learned and that worked for me in radically changing my life and moving away from my nine to five into this free lifestyle. So if you're interested in checking that out, here's a link to it. I'll put up a discount code, take advantage of it. I'd love to be able to share more of my tips with you in this way and to help you transform your life. I have been a minimalist and a travel enthusiast for, gosh, feels like my whole life, but I'd say for a great decade. And I've been running my own online business and businesses for the last four years about. About four years ago exactly is when some huge shifts in my life started changing. I think it started mostly with this physical change, which was that I was desiring greater health overall. I had definitely been making pretty radical shifts, but there was this great leap of faith that I took and, and it started with hiring this health coach. I was working at this yoga and holistic health center. I was the operations manager. It's a very large, amazing holistic health center in Rhode Island. And I loved it there. And also I felt like I didn't want to be working at a desk all day. I wanted to be living more of my passion, living more of my dreams. I loved that I was able to get to more yoga classes and get monthly massage and go to these awesome workshops, learn about mindfulness and so many things that have enhanced my life. But it wasn't my ideal lifestyle. So we had a health coach there at the time and I signed up with her for six months of health coaching and within the first few weeks, I just made some huge leaps. I think that I knew I wanted to make the changes and she just really helped me, she helped be a support for me and to help me stay accountable to myself and what I really wanted. And those big shifts that took place were mainly in the areas of my diet and lifestyle and then my job. And what I realized was that the foods I was eating, many of the foods I was eating weren't serving me anymore. And that's when I switched to eating raw fruits and vegetables. And I was realizing that the job really wasn't, wasn't supporting me anymore, even though elements of it were. It was overall not my ideal. And I felt that by being in it, I was unable to take the steps towards a more authentic lifestyle for me. I had been planning for a really long time to take this trip, which, you know, in my mind was a trip around the world or a trip around all of South Central and South America. But um, as that shifted over time and I wanted to take that trip with my partner at the time, we decided to make it, you know, at least a three month trip that we were going to take together when he graduated college. And when he did that, the company knew that I was going to leave. But I still had like, you know, nine months or something until that was going to happen. And what I realized was that I felt like I wasn't earning enough money there to make it worth my while to stay. And my goal at the time was really like, I want to save money so that I can go on this trip and travel in this really free way I had always wanted to. I'd been traveling before that. I'd studied abroad in Costa Rica. I'd done a lot of really cool things, but I wanted to be traveling more full time. So I really took some time to check in with myself and see what was worth it to me. You know, what would be my ideal? How much money did I want to be earning from that job? What did I want my days to look like there? 
what was my ideal transition out of that job, how was all that going to work? And I proposed it to my company and I let them know, you know, here are the things I really value about this job and this is what's really serving me and these are the things that aren't serving me and these are the areas where I feel like I could, you know, work with you guys and we could find a middle ground. And something had shifted during that time for me. I think that I I think that I had kind of already felt like I liberated myself. I kind of already had said, you know, I'm done. And in a way that was really cool because it felt like I was no longer attached to that job. I realized there were lots of other ways that I could earn the income that I wanted to then apply to the travel, which is what I was looking for. And I didn't feel like I needed to stay stuck in something that wasn't serving me, that wasn't worthwhile to me anymore. But I was pretty shocked. They came back and said that they would give me everything that I wanted, which was a lot. I asked for a lot and I felt like they really valued me. And so I do think it took like a couple of weeks for me to like sink back into like, oh gosh, okay, I am going to be here. I'm not just going to be like whatever I had thought of, like waitress waitressing to make a ton of loot before I travel. I'm going to be here. And so I really used that time to my advantage to, to further develop myself and my skills in the areas that I wanted to. So I formed projects that I felt like would give me skills that I could then carry out into the world and further fuel my life. I was really interested in websites. I've always been super organized and into like ways to ways to better organize things to make them easy and awesome and functional. And I think in today's day and age, being able to finagle websites is an awesome way to do that. So I started creating a lot of things. I had already created you know, this online manual for that whole company, um, which was this like little website, but I decided to learn how to use other website platforms. And I just figured them out as I went along. I'm not a programmer or anything like that. And I also knew about the software that the company used that I had been using for like three years. So there's kind of like this niche softwares in the yoga and holistic health field. And I was able to really educate myself and how to use those and, you know, some other website building softwares. And so that by the time I was ready to leave, I had all this knowledge. I hadn't even realized I was just kind of following what was fun for me. And the company that I was leaving asked if I wanted to spearhead like this huge project of creating them a new website with this like whole new company on a new platform. And I said, yes. And that launched what was soon to be my website consulting business. And I didn't even realize it, but I had gotten into this niche, which was like yoga centers that use two of these softwares that I knew really well and understood and that you know, I got to work with clients who were awesome because that was something that was really important to me. It, for me, it's so much more about the relationships and the environment and how I'm spending my time. So I felt like it was a huge upgrade to move from this 40 hour a week job or 40 plus hours down to, I did about like 20 hours for the next month or so creating this website while I started my backpacking trip with my partner. By word of mouth, I ended up acquiring a couple more clients and taking on as much work as I wanted. Sometimes I wanted 10 hours, sometimes I wanted five hours, sometimes I wanted 20 hours. And that's when my nomadic online business lifestyle really started and I didn't even realize that's what it was. But like I said, that was about four years ago now and I haven't had any sort of a traditional job since and I, I really don't plan on it. Simultaneously, while I was doing this website consulting for others, I had started my own travel blog and I had started creating YouTube videos or I created one YouTube video that I didn't realize was going to become a hit and take off a little bit. It was about this minimalist pack and basically I just recorded it because I couldn't find any minimalist pack videos when I was looking for them on YouTube and I wanted to share it with people and with my friends and family that were interested. And I remember getting these comments while I was traveling abroad and I was like, oh my gosh, people are watching this video. I didn't even understand how YouTube worked. So thus sprung to life my other business, which has ended up becoming 
now my main business I don't do much of the website consulting anymore unless if it's like this fun project I decide to take on and that has evolved into you know YouTube videos and blog posts and coaching and my program and you know now presenting at festivals and I also offer other health related things like my acrobatics classes and it's just flourished into more of sharing my lifestyle and sharing my passion and it all started by doing just that I never had in mind like I need to make a certain amount of money or I need to create this successful business I just felt like I want to do more of what I love I want to do more travel I want to spend more time with my loved ones I want to be able to be creative with my organizational skills I want to grow in these areas I want to travel I want to share my passion I want you know all these things that excited me and it was just being in that flow rolling with what I loved and feeling honestly just like support all the time universal support some people have asked me if there was ever a time in there where I felt you know concerned about money or I didn't have enough money and the truth is no I mean I definitely did feel more aware of my finances and I thought about them more and I think I stressed about them a little bit at the beginning because it was my pattern. But once I realized that I was creating my own reality and I didn't want to be a stressful person or I didn't want to be worried about money, I stopped doing that and thinking about how abundant I was and all these other things. Like, I've always been able to travel wherever I want. I've always been surrounded by love. I've always been able to create in the ways that are fulfilling to me. And I started to generate more of the abundance that I wanted to be experiencing. I'm sure that it was helpful that I live a really simple minimalist lifestyle. I've shared in another video a long time ago, so it's changed just a little bit, but the figures are about the same. That I spend about, on average, like 900 to 1200 dollars a month when in my life like it's just the way it works out depends where I'm living you know if I'm living in Thailand it's probably closer to the lower end than if I'm living in the States but not necessarily you know and if I'm spending a lot of time driving in Winnie or flying from place to place in a month it might be a little higher than lower but having a budget that low also makes it really easy to feel like you know you're not stressed about having to cover a lot of expenses because just by the nature of how I like to live I don't have a lot of expenses I can really see the draw for a lot of people to go minimalist when they're wanting more freedom there's this cool thing that can happen simultaneously which is like you make your life simpler so you have fewer things to worry about stuff expenses just things that are not fun or exciting for you. At the same time, you can increase the things you do want to be doing, pursuing more freedom, maybe starting a new endeavor, a business endeavor, or an adventure. So that was a bit of my experience. That's how I did it. I really recommend that you do it whatever way feels best for you. And if you're not sure what that is, try just getting in touch with what makes you tick. Think about how you want to spend your time. And there's also other ways to go about it. You know, there's a lot of online jobs. I used to be a translator. I would create these audio recordings from English to Spanish for these like um, foreign language apps. That was cool. I also taught English abroad. There's so many different things you can do. You can be a nanny, you can be an au pair, you can do anything really. But what do you want to be doing? How do you want to be spending your time? Like I said, if this is something you want to tap into further, I so wholeheartedly recommend my program Simplify. Here's a link to it again. You can also hit me up for some coaching. Put your comments down below. If you like this video, please share it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys again soon. Bye.